Are you sure it's time for him to leave? As I've said, I understand your concern. He has been through a lot. We've done all we can for him here. He now needs to go home and get on with the rest of his life. Look, make sure he keeps up his outpatient appointments and there'll be regular visits from the social worker. Just keep an eye on him. He'll be fine. Well, let's hope you're right. Oh, wait, let's see. So what do you fancy for your tea tonight? I'll, uh, I'll pick it up on the way home. Don't mind. Well, I'll make it special then. Fish, chips and mushy peas it is. Okay. Any case, son. Yes, Tommy, come here, brother. Tommy, yes, yes, yes. Look, look, you've got to stay in your dad's bedroom, yeah? You've got your chocolate and your crisps, yeah? You've got your stuff. Don't mention that to Ricky, you'll get the munchies. But um, you've got to stay in the bedroom, because I thought Daddy will never let us have a party again. Yeah? I know. I'm going to just play by All right, I'll pick you up later. You know what I mean? I'll pick you up later. The missing boy. 
This is the playground from which young Tom Ryan went missing nearly two weeks ago. So if anybody remembers anything at all from that night, no matter how small, please call the number on your screen. Police are... Whoever you are, just... Please. I just want Tom back. Please don't hurt him. We just, we just want him back home. Safe. And... And we... We really need him. Please don't hurt him. And let us know that he's safe. Other disappearances of children in the The police still haven't found a single clue, so the nightmare continues for his father Jake and his brother Matthew. Matthew. for his father Jake and his brother Matthew. I was listening to those tapes of Tom's. I heard something. Let me show you. Please don't hurt him. We, should, we just want him back home. See it. And, and we... We really need him. Please don't hurt him. Let us know that he's safe. The police still haven't found a scene of food, so the nightmare continues to be <laughs> Police are refusing to comment on similarities between this case and other disappearances of children in the area. Hi, I was just passing by. I had a home visit in the block. How is everything? What happened to your hand? Uh, no, just uh, an accident. Everything all right with you, Matthew? Yeah, I'm all right. Well, welcome back. If you need to talk, just drop by. Good night, Mr. Bannon. Of course I understand, Doctor. He's my son. I just don't think I can handle it if he tips over again. Remember what happened the last time. Oh, okay, we'll just we'll just wait and see then. It's always the easiest bloody thing.
Uh, you must have moved in when I was away. Hi. I'm Matt, by the way. Hi, I'm... I'm Amy. All right, Amy. Uh, listen, um... Are you all right? These, uh, the walls, man, they're thin. Um, that I wasn't listening in, but... I know, um, I can hear TV. Listen, I'm really sorry about your brother. Go ahead, then. Eh? Yeah, man. I met this girl. Jesus Christ, that's quick. She fit? It's not like that. <laughs> you fucking loser. What about you, anyway? What's, what's going on? Ain't got no time for a hoe, bro. Cousin got me a job down the car yard. Mine is crap, but I love it. I've even started to fix up my own motor down there. Have you passed your test, then? Well, exactly. They don't know that, though. Putting a good word for you if you want, man. It's cool, man. I've, uh... I'm a bit undecided, you know. They're trying to push me into some college course or something, or if it's not that, it's get a job, and... And, like... I just... I need some time, you know. Yeah, give it some thought, though. It's like you're mad being in that flat all day.
I will, man. I'll give it some thought. You're right, though, yeah? How's a guy with your old bad? Fucked, mate. <laughs> he thinks I've lost my mind again. Why is that? I was looking at some of the old uh, news reports of Tom's disappearance. Nothing wrong with that, man. And I thought that I heard his voice on one of the tapes. And I told him, and that was a mistake. <sighs> some spooky shit, man. What was he saying? I was just calling. He was just calling to me. He was just. I was just... I've seen side of this. Yeah, I watched a program about it the other day. It's some sort of phenomenon where you get dead people's voices on tapes. People go around recording them and that. I see it on, I see it on TV, man. Yeah, but we don't know that Tom's dead, do we? So... Look, Matt, while you're away, man, there was some shit written about your family by that reporter. Sacked. What? Nothing, man. Just dragging up the past and that. What, like? Some shit about your dad breaking your brother's arm in a fit of rage or something like that. <sighs> I have to tell you, man. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I don't know why I'm doing this, mate. Uh... Um... Simon said to do it. <laughs> Simon fucking said. So I'm fucking sat here in the middle of a fucking playground, yeah? <laughs> Talking to you. Fucking recorder. Is this where you went from? If you're out there, <laughs> you know, fucking show, dude. <laughs> let's just know, yeah. Let's not this in between. You shouldn't have gone. That wasn't fair. We'll see what happens there. <laughs> Quiet and quiet and quiet and Freak! We've in our playground talking to yourself, huh? Yeah, what you fucking did in our playground, you prick? First sign of madness. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 your dad was fucking crying and everything. Everybody says your dad did it. Your mum went missing his work, didn't she? I'd be fucking worried if I was you. Matt?
take it down, yeah? <laughs> Look, if there's one thing I know about, it's coming up cuts and bruises. <sighs> Do you miss your mum? Not really. She, uh, she left so long ago. I don't think about her that much, you know. Tom was so young. <laughs> he never even knew her. They're the freaks. Beating you up after everything that your family has been through. <laughs> family. <laughs> yeah, it's not much of a family, really. Dad hates me. He, um, blames me for what happened to Tom. Dad was out. We were having a party and uh, Tom wanted to go to the playground. And it was my birthday, so, you know, I'm drinking and I'm smoking and... And uh, by the time I come to collect him, he was gone. Scene. What's with your dad, Amy? Okay, there's some thanks. Yeah. I'll track it, yeah. How'd your appointment go today? Fine. Been taking the pills? Yeah. Matthew! What happened to your face? Oh, fell over. Let's just know, yeah? Let's not this in between. Are you listening to? Nothing. Are you sure you're all right? Just on my way out, actually. Matthew, you know how important our meetings are. No, I said you were coming. I just had to check that you're settling back, all right? Okay. As your care worker, I just have to tick a few boxes. Why did you miss your outpatient appointment? I was sick. Try not to miss the next one. So how's it been, coming back to the estate, living with your father? All right. Really? What happened to your face? I had an accident. So how have you been? No, I'm all right, I said. Look, Matthew, this is going to sound really boring, but it is important that you don't miss your hospital appointments. You thought any more about the courses I told you about? I run a few of them down at the church hall. It's not too late to come along. I've 
brought some of the college forms along with me. Basically, to separate the vocation and the students. What's the matter, Matthew? Nothing. Hear the words of comfort. Our Saviour Christ says to all who truly turn to him, Come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And when our mortal flesh is laid aside, an everlasting dwelling place is made ready for us in heaven. Good to see Matthew at the next meeting. Uh, how's your hand, by the way? Better. Uh, when is the next meeting? Tuesday. Simon? Yes, Matthew. Got a ciggy? Yeah, man. How was the God Squad? Great. Hi, Matt. How you doing? So sweet. I've not seen you for ages. How's the loony been? Hey. Clear off. I say go. I'll see you at home. I think she fancies you, bro. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> your sister, mate. She's 12 years old, man. Mate, um, you know what you're talking about, tape and recording things? Uh, yeah. I've done it and... Can I play it to you? Yeah, man. That's his thing. All right. Talking to you... ...on a fucking recorder. Is this where you went from? If you're out there... <laughs> <laughs> right, mate, it's here, it's mate. coming up. You're fucking loser, again, yeah? Mate, mate, it's fucking on here, I did it. Wait a second. Well, you're fucking joking, I mean, you're going to take me seriously. Mate, it's your idea, you said it and I did yeah. it and it worked. Wow, it's on there. I mean, have voices, bro. You need to spend a bit longer in the old whack shack, you know what I mean? <laughs> we'll see what happens, yeah. What the fuck, Matt? What the fuck? Tom! What's wrong? What is it? Seriously, you actually haven't said a word since I got here. I think he's still alive. I heard his voice. No one else has. But something's going on. Something between me and him. I believe you. You know what? I might have something for you. No one 
one seems to know that much about her. She seems to sort of freak everyone out. They call her a witch. <laughs> I've seen it, just like wandering around the corridors a few times. Seems like she's just misunderstood. I know where she lives. It's on the Whitehawk estate, just around the corner. Thanks. You've got nothing to lose by paying her a visit. Thanks, Amy. For what? For not thinking that I'm some fucking... <laughs> I never said you weren't. <laughs> you know, there's, um... There is help that you can get, too. Sorry. Uh, I just, I just wanted to say thanks. You, you already did. I'd better get back. Yeah. You can't help me. You never came for me, Matthew. It's your friend. Of why he won't, why he won't leave me alone. Why, why can't I get rid of him? Sounds obvious, but maybe he's trying to say something to you. So, so you think he's dead then? I can't answer that, but maybe he's trying to warn you about something. because you weren't there for him when he needed you. Ghosts are about the unresolved. They never rest until they find an answer. 
ghosts. Matthew, this place is full of them. It's a cursed area. Don't worry, sweetie. Mum's just telling a story. <laughs> Try not to worry too much. I'm sure you'll find what you need. Yeah. I need to ask you some questions. What do you think about the latest abductions? Do you believe rumours it may be the work of a serial killer? What abduction? Sophie Fryer. I believe you may be a friend of the brothers, Simon. You gotta go now. Matt, do you think it was a local person that killed them? Fuck off. You're all the same round here. Sax was here earlier. Made mum and dad cry with his questions. Think of Sophie. Where'd you get it? It led on from the stuff with the tapes. Which one there? I met up with this woman, Simon. She wanted to help. She's um, she's a medium. She's not some sort of crystal gazer, man. She, she she's good, and her daughter drew that for me. A medium? Yeah. She lives on the White Hawk Estate. Shelley Cartwright. Shelley Cartwright. Yeah. Fucking hell, Matt. What's wrong with you? She died years ago and her flat burnt down. Her no. daughter was in it. It was all over the news. No, she, no you're thinking of something else, you? mate. Um, I spoke with her and she... Um... Matt! 
Sort your head out, bruv. Do you think we need this shit right now? Simon, you, you, you got the wrong person. I think she can help, you know. I think when I heard about Sophie and I saw that drawing. I can't believe you, man. Don't just fucking stand there looking at me, you psycho. Fuck off, go! Get out! Get out! Simon, the boy Tom is trying to warn us! Matt, what's wrong? Fuck off. What? The fucking medium. What happened? She doesn't exist, Amy. She's dead. You think that this is a joke? You think that this is funny? You think that this is fucking funny? I thought that you were different. I thought you understood, but you're just like everybody else. I just not know. Wait. Wait. But it was so real. And then not there. I'm sorry, Amy, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you think she was trying to tell you? That Tom was trying to tell me something. That she's not fucking there. You know, so... If you think that your 
brother is trying to tell you something that it doesn't matter if it's real or not. You just listen to it. It doesn't matter. You just listen. Okay? Now, your Uncle Martin and the family are all looking forward to seeing you again, so just try and enjoy it, okay? Dad's been coming around whilst you've been away. He keeps blaming himself. No one's fault. But he really feels guilty. Maybe he should. It was a work do. You know he left early to get back to you guys. What? It doesn't really matter now, does it, Matt? We both really need to help each other. Just look after yourself. That's far too many pills. No, look, you've only been out for four weeks. It's four pills a day. If you want to change anything, then you have to come and see me. Yes. Look, I'm here till six. What is this? Fine. Just, well, look, come in and bring your father. Excuse me, is it all right? Uh, could I come in? Yeah. I um, I've got this. Uh, I was in um, I was in Doctor Doctor Cole's office. And I first saw this, um, which I've seen, which I've seen before. What do you, What do you know about this? This is... What? It's happening to you two. What are you doing in here? Do you know Edward? You let it go before it pulls you under. No, yeah, no. I'll show you out. Come on, please, you're disturbing the patient. Yeah. No, it's my fault. It's my fault completely. I went in there and all started, um... <laughs> started asking him stuff. It was stupid. Um... What happened to him? He's been in here for years. He was with a class when he went missing. Why did he kill him? A lot of people thought he did, but they never found a body, so... Oh! This is you. Just follow this corridor right to the exit, okay?
Matthew, come here. Home time, boys. I'm sorry I couldn't put any brandy in this. Okay? you to drop by, Matthew, but it's a bit late, isn't it? Sorry, Mr. Bannon. No, it's all right. I was here getting ready for tomorrow anyway. You call me Adrian? Why are you out so late? Won't your dad be worried about you? They're probably gone by now, so I should probably... They're a nasty bunch. Looks to me like they're out for blood tonight. <laughs> You're not in any kind of trouble, are you? No, nothing like that. So, how is your father? More importantly, how are you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Look, Matthew, will you just cut the bullshit? You might think I'm just here to do a job, but I do the job because I want to help. I can't begin to imagine how difficult this must be for you. It, it's hard to make sense of it all, but there are ways of working through it. Do you think that they had anything to do with Tom? I don't know. But I do know that anything's possible these days. When people have lost their beliefs and their faith, what's left? I should leave them to the police. You believe in in an afterlife, don't you? I really am sorry about your brother, Matthew. Do you think we'll ever find him? Know what happened to him? Sorry, sorry. I should be going. Thank you for the tea. Take care of yourself, Matthew, all right? Boys. Oh. You were up. Here we are. You should have run again. Matt. Ah! Shush now, come on. Matt, you just had a bad dream. Matt. <laughs> Matt. Ah! Matt. Oh, get off me. Get off me, get off me, get off me.
Why do you have Tom's watch? sống có một cây rau muống mọc lên từ đá mọc lên từ đá nghĩ được sống dẫm đi dẫm lại bẹt rất nhiều dẫm bẹt cả ra vẫn sống vẫn mơn mở nghĩ được sống một cây police give it me when they'd finished with it they found it in the playground You'd already gone in the hospital and I didn't think you should know about it. I still don't think you're able to... Lying. What? You left your party early that night. So where were you? Oh, for Christ's sake, Matthew, I left with a girl from work. But the real question is, where the fuck were you? You were meant to be looking after him. I told you to look after him. But instead you were getting pissed and God knows what else with your friends. <sighs> Son, I think you need some more help. That would suit you, wouldn't it? That would suit you, wouldn't it? Locking me up again. No. Because you did it. I know you did it. Don't do it! It's not worth it! I don't know what shout to. You're not okay. I want to show you something. This is just why I like to come. Just when everything gets too much. Pretend one of them's mine and I can just sail away. Which one do you like? What are you doing? Come on, throw your girl. Get in. Don't be stupid. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he had a good job. And we lived in a in a nice house, in a nice neighbourhood. I used to play piano. He got um made redundant, and he started to drink. And. Uh, Everything changed. We ended up here. And that's my story. Then we'll take a few bruises.
Try not to think the worst of your dad. You have to trust him. It's hard on both of you. So, where are we going? Well, I do rather like the south of France this time of year. <laughs> So why don't you um, lie back and uh, I'll have us back by the morning. You're the captain. Said. No, I'm sorry. About everything, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'm sorry. Don't worry. <sighs> sorry, son. It's for your own good. Okay, I'll take it from here, thanks. <laughs>
anything's possible these days. When people have lost their beliefs and their faith. Simon. Mr. Ballon. He's using the church. Ballon? You won't I... believe me, Simon. I don't care. I don't care. It's Mr. Ballon. Matt! receive her, give her eternal life, and the kingdom of heaven. With the godparents, please step forward.
Anybody down there? <coughs> Hello? Can't see anyone. I think I see light. Simon. Jake, what are you doing here? Uh, Matthew's run off. Uh, for some reason, Simon thought he might have come to the church. Oh, I'm sorry, Jake. I, I haven't seen him, but I'll, I'll call the office, let them know what's happened, see if they can help. If, if you do see him, uh, I'd be grateful if you could give us a call. And, uh, and, and if you see him, don't take any notice of what he says. What happened to your door? Uh, vandals. We get a lot of them around here. Um, sorry, gents. I must get on. Uh, I'll be sure to call you, Jake, if I see Matthew at all, right? so convinced. I told you, that's how he gets when he's ill. Look, I'd better get back to the flat in case it turns up. Sure he will. See you later, yeah? All right. Thanks, sir.
Amy. You mean Sophie? Oh. She's she's fine. I found her just after she escaped. She's she's safe now. Simon.
Oh, hey, that's fine. Wait a minute.